Hello everybody, my name's Hocus Pocus and welcome back to the Minecraft Let's Play. This is episode 77 of the series now I believe. I think we did 76, didn't we? Sometimes I struggle to remember where we're at, but we are somewhere around that point anyway. So, if you're with me in the last episode, you'll remember that we are working more on the mob farm, which you can see right there behind me. Well, you can't see it anymore because of the cloud coverage, but it is there, believe me. And we went underneath the farm and implemented some water streams that allow us to carry the loot down towards a central location and into three very specific hoppers. So in today's episode, we will possibly be heading over there and figuring out a method to distribute the items from the hopper into a chest system beneath that um, entire piece of work that we got there, the farm in total. And we could go ahead and build a room down there maybe, and just a way to access all of the drops from the farm is what we're getting at really. Anyway, in between episodes you might see that there has been some changes around this area. So um, I figured that it might be best for me to begin working on some of the outdoor um, scenery off camera because it takes me very long time to uh, get through it. Sometimes I run out of inspiration, sometimes I just can't come up with any ideas. I always worry that it's not going to look good and I want things to look good so um, it does take me quite some time to get it done. So I was playing around for around two hours mainly just flying around the world but I did get a bit done here. So as you can see I've walled off the redstone, replaced the floor with um, gravel just for a change because it was a mixture of dirt, stone and other bad things. It didn't look very good. So I changed that up, got the wall around it, implemented some wood and some slabs as you can see. And then right behind me now, I extended the path that runs alongside the sugarcane farm and brought it down to this layer and it ends just where the wall aligns with Wow, just where the cobblestone walls align with the stone brick walls behind me. So um, we could figure out an extra bit of detail that we could put on the wall behind me. Um, I was considering copying this design over. However, we have a an issue here. So um, as you can see, we've got a four wide gap, a four wide gap, a five wide gap, and then two more four wide gaps. So at the moment, it's very symmetrical. Um, however, these two gaps are both five wide. So if we were to extend this design into this area, again, it's going to be uh, slightly off center and maybe looking strange but we could test it out to see what it looks like it might not look too bad in the end uh, however for now I'm just gonna leave it as it is I just wanted to highlight this to you guys and just explain why I've been working at it off camera so uh, let's fly over to the mob farm and get a look at this thing this thing is huge now that we uh, have built this and we come outside here one second let me just uh, show you something so if we head over here and fly atop this mountain or this hill, it's not much of a mountain, is it? And look over there, this thing is humongous and it really gives um, gives a bit of uh, life to the world outside now because there wasn't much to look at, honestly. We've obviously got the villager trading center over there. We've got the sugarcane farm here and now we have this humongous mob farm that towers above everything else in the world, even these huge mountains, which were part of the reason why we decided to uh, settle ourselves here. But let's get back over there as we were about to and just hop down into the system so that we can take a look at what we did if you weren't here for that episode. Um, and also just as a just as a bit of information, I have been using this thing off camera to get a bit of uh, gunpowder up together. So you will see we've got some loot sitting down here that I haven't taken away with me yet. But this is what we got so far. Everything flows into this central location and eventually into this middle hopper, which we will obviously need to distribute down below into a chest system, as I did mention. But for now, we are going to be working on something else in the world and it doesn't involve the mob farm. Okay, so we've just been down to small storage and dropped off the rest of our inventory so that we've got a clean and blank slate to work with here. And I think today we're going to be making quite a significant change to the base. So what I'm thinking of doing is um, extending out this ladder that we have here and taking it all the way to the surface because an issue that I have right now, which I'll explain in a second once we get to the top of the ladder, is that um, we aren't really using a lot of the space that we have and it's kind of pointless having it if we're not going to use it. So I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to take the ladder all the way up to the top through to the surface um, completely bypassing this area and we are just going to forget that we ever built this because of course at the start this seemed like a good idea this is where we we're going to start our base but then we went ahead and discovered the ravine down below and now that is where the main uh, segment of our base lives so what we're going to do is we're going to take anything this useful and I think by anything this useful I mean this hopper here <laughs> I don't think there's anything else very useful in this area so uh, if I can get down there and grab that we will take that with us that's for sure um, now we are trapped, it looks like, so we might have to break this. 
no problem and then we can just put it back there i'm not really too fussed about that so um as i said take anything that's useful of course we have these chests full of things here but i don't really think there's anything that we are in dire need of and of course we still can access this by breaking back into the room but as i said i feel like it's kind of pointless having this room now since we've not really done anything else with it since we built it and we don't ever really come here unless we're going outside. So I think it makes more sense just to have a ladder that goes all the way to the surface. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to work on extending the wood up to the ceiling, as I said, and breaking through to the surface. We're also probably going to dig out the entire 3x3 here so that we've got a 3x3 hole to uh, work with. And then we're just going to decorate it, make it look good and... That's it. We're getting rid of this part of the base. So I hope you guys are happy with that decision. I definitely am. I think it makes sense. So we're going to get right to that. So potentially for any of you guys that didn't understand, although you probably did, just in case though, I'm going to describe to you and show you what we've done. So the ladder now goes all the way through this area. Um, and we are eventually going to put walls around all four sides so that we cannot exit on this floor anymore. And it's going to instead take us all the way to the surface. So once we get up there as well, we're going to have to create some sort of uh, barrier to stop the mobs from getting at us as soon as we reach the surface. Because of course, sometimes we're going to get up there and it's going to be nighttime. Sometimes we'll get up there and it's going to be daytime. May also install a clock at the bottom so that we can possibly know when to sleep before climbing or whether we don't have to because it's daytime. But this is what we're aiming for here. Now we're going to work on decorating all four sides of the shoe. I'm not going to do anything too extravagant really. Just gonna make it um just gonna make it nice and clean, put a few lights in, that sort of thing, just to make sure that our climb to the surface is a pleasant one. Alright, so I uh hope that now that I've shown you, you understand what we're gonna do and say goodbye to this part of the base because we won't be visiting it much more after we've completed this. So the ladder to the surface is finally complete, and I have to say this took me a lot longer than I expected, to be honest. Um I'm not sure how long we've been working now, but it took a while. And as you can see, it's not very detailed at all, just got a few design features in there. There's not really that much you can do with a shaft that leads to the underground, so I kept it simple really, but if we climb up, you can check it out. So on the back wall, which is right behind me, we've got some lighting and it is surrounded, well not surrounded, but surrounded top and bottom by two wooden stairs made from dark oak. And on the left and the right hand sides, we've done the same thing except replace the lamp with the stone half slabs just for a design feature. Um, it serves no purpose at all aside from making things look good. So now that we've got this set up, um, I think another piece of the puzzle would probably be to fill this in, you know, so that we have uh, some flat terrain to work with. We don't have this huge chasm that leads down into this area. However, I might leave it, op leave it open for the time being because there are things down here that we can use, such as the bed, which I'm going to use right now to sleep the night away. We also have our two cows over there, which I'll probably move at some point outside and create a farm for those guys because... We do need leather, and at the moment we don't have any of it at all, I believe, so it's good to keep these guys around so that we can make sure that we are harvesting that when required. Also, we've got a few things in here that might be useful, such as um, enchanted books. I actually have a double chest over here, which is almost full of them. Uh, we have one there. Uh, one there that's almost full. We've got a couple of picks which we don't really need anymore and just a bunch of junk really that might come in useful at some point We've got saddles uh, leather armor that sort of thing name tags definitely useful uh, We got some music discs. I think I already have 13 down in the base actually so uh, not too concerned about that I've got some nautilus shells here, which again can be useful especially when we're building in and around the water and we've got other things like um, a bit of mob loot here the gunpowder could be useful to us probably not so much now that we have the farm We've got a bunch of raw cod here, some potatoes, pumpkins, lily pads, definitely useful when we're using water. We've got some beef that we could cook up. So there are definitely things here that are useful. Um, also, we've got these chests here, which are full of some goodies that we can probably take downstairs right now. Uh, but yeah, I think it's definitely important that we keep this open for the time being, because I could also strip this room for a few other materials that we need. Uh, we're quite long gravel, and we could also take most of the wool materials and the wood and reuse them somewhere else in a more important build. So now that we've got that done, of course, we do need to come up with something that will allow us to enter the surface safely, whether it be night or day. And to do that, we're going to need to set up some sort of um, surrounding blocks to protect us from enemy attack once we reach the surface here. But I'm not sure if I'm going to do that right now because, you know, uh, the likelihood of us getting attacked once we get to the surface by anything other than a creeper um, is probably... A bit higher but the creeper is the only thing I'm worried about anyway so I'm not too concerned about getting that organized we are gonna remove this and replace uh, the dirt in there 
The AFK fishing farm obviously is going to go to waste, but it's not very expensive and easy to recreate, so I'm not too fussed about that either. Anyway, moving on, I think we're going to be working over at the mob farm right now, so I'm going to just hop up the hill here. Um, I did mention earlier in the video that we might come over here and do some work in terms of getting a storage room organized, so we could do that right now. I just want to look at some coordinates here. So we are uh, 184 and negative 627, and we need to go down... I don't know how many blocks. Uh, we can work that out if we go down here though. So coming into this area, we want to be on the central block here so that we can work out where we're going to dig down to. So 73 we're at now. Uh, we'll be at 72 down there. We need to go down 71 to 70. Uh, maybe down to 69 might be a safe option. And then I'm going to locate this block right here and we can start working on filtering the items out of this system and into a chest storage system down below. As easy as that, we've located the hopper. So as you can see, the central hopper here is where all items should eventually end up. And we are now going to devise a way to bring the items out of this hopper and down into a system that will allow us to uh, most likely store everything aside from gunpowder randomly, but I do want to filter away gunpowder um, for purposes of building rockets basically because this is what this mob farm is for is to allow us to have access to enough gunpowder to have infinite rockets which is definitely going to be a good thing because just recently i've taken a lot of time to fly around my world and have a look at it which before this uh, moment in the series i haven't done too much because i'm kind of scared of wasting the rockets so it's good to have an infinite supply or at least a somewhat infinite supply, a supply that we can turn on anytime we require it. So I'm going to probably filter off the gunpowder, leave everything else to sort randomly. So uh, let's get to work on that system. So this is how we are going to do things down here. So firstly, we've got this setup, which is obviously an automatic dispenser or dropper we've got here. So this works with a dispenser or a dropper, depending on uh, which block you decide to choose. So the comparator registers if there's anything inside. If there is, fires out like so. The only issue we do have here is that this setup is also going to make this dropper fire, but I really don't think that's going to be an issue, so I'll leave it as it is. I could always draw this hopper back, uh, sorry, this dropper back one and this dropper back one, but I really don't think we need to. I think save space, have it like this, and it should work out fine. So we're just going to complete the rest here. So we want to uh, pop you there, one of those, uh, one of those, and then just fill the rest in with redstone. Same thing on the opposing side. We want a comparator coming out of the dropper. Then a repeater, one repeater into the back of this block here, which powers the dropper. And then we'll fill in the rest with redstone once again. So now anything that goes into these will be automatically fired out, as you can see. Perfect. So it's working. And of course, we'll have a water stream to carry everything along the pathway here. So we'll have water that runs through here. And then it can run over the top of a filtering system that will be inside or... The filtering system will probably be above the room that we build, but we're going to have to build a room down here somewhere that allows us to access all of the drops. Unless, of course, we bring them up to the surface, which might be a good idea. We could bring them up to the surface, actually. That might be a good idea. Let's go and take a look at the sort of space that we're working with, and I can make a decision. So, uh, obviously, one idea I have is to keep the drops downstairs, but another idea is to bring it up here, which actually I'm probably going to do. So, I can bring the drops upstairs through a water stream, and then we can have a setup here that has the storage for our mob farm system here. That might be something quite cool. And then we're also, again, developing more of the outside world so that when we come out here, we've got things to look at. Um, so, yeah, I think actually what we'll do is we'll make it run into a water stream, bring the water stream upstairs, and then have it flow into a system that firstly filters out the gunpowder and then stores everything else in a huge bank of chests somewhere around here, most likely. So let me work on that once more, and I'll bring you guys back in when there's a bit more substance to show you. All right, you guys, so a slight change of plan here. As you can see, we've made our way back down to the, um, what do you call this? Um, a stronghold. There you go. Kind of forgot the name for it for a second. Um, we are looking once more for the end portal. So um, we've had a bit of an, I've had a bit of an idea anyway about what I want to do in terms of our storage for these items. And as you can see, we did leave a few items behind here. Um, not going to take any of it though, just the ender pearl. I think that's the most important thing there that I might need. So as I was saying, I had a bit of a change of plan and I want to involve shulker boxes in this build. So we're going to be going to grab ourselves some shulker shells from the end. And I guess I'll just catch up with you guys once we make it over there. Okay, you guys, so we've made it back over to the extended end, if you will, the deep end. I don't really know what to call it. And we're just going to fly around here until we find ourselves a city to go and raid. 
Um, however, we have already raided one in the near area. I know there wasn't that many hanging around because last time I came here, it took me a very long time to find the one that we eventually did go ahead and conquer. So hopefully we come across one soon. It should be a lot easier with the elytra, as you guys are probably have guessed. So this episode is going to be turning to, turning into a bit of an exploration episode now, I guess, which might be to the delight of some of you because I know some of you do enjoy the exploration aspect of Minecraft. So. We are going to go ahead and locate ourselves one of these cities. And what is this? Um, I really didn't know that they had extra entrances. Um, I guess they might be periodically placed. I have no idea. Uh, if any of you guys know what this is all about, let me do. Let me know down in the comments. But um, until I found a fortress, I am going to cut the recording and I guess I'll just bring you guys back in when that becomes a reality. Okay, you guys, so we have found ourselves a an end city. I'm really hoping that this isn't one that we've raided. Um, I don't see any shulkers up here, which is a slight worry. Um, of course, an end city that has been raided will have been... Okay, no, this one hasn't been raided because the dragon head is still there and I did take it when we raided that last one. So I guess we'll just go ahead and start with the ship since that has the most valuable item to us, which is the elytra wings. Wow, I guess not the most valuable because we are looking for shulker shells after all, but you could argue that it's valuable. Okay, dealt with him and we got ourselves one shell, which is good to see. Grab the elytra, definitely worth taking home with us. Um, anything in here worth having? I'll take this, Mending and Fire Protection 4, that's not too bad. I'll also take the ingots. Um, uh, I guess I'll take this stuff, but if it doesn't ever come in... Well, I mean, if we find anything that's worth more, then of course I'll get rid of it. Uh, we'll take that as well, we'll take the item frame. Um, and we'll just deposit everything else over there. Perfect, so now we can start raiding the main segment of this build. Okay, so here we go, you guys. Um, just as a warning, this is going to be exploration until the end. So I'm sorry if you guys don't enjoy this uh, aspect of the game, but this is what it's going to be until this video is over right now. So um, if you do want to tune out, I'll totally understand. However, if you do like the ac uh, sorry the exploration, not the exploration, then definitely stay tuned right now because we are going to be going ahead and getting inside this place, seeing what we can get up to and what we can get as loot. So here we go. Right, these guys. Oh god. There we go. That's one down and another shell. Perfect. Get this guy down and block ourselves. Okay, that'll do. Okay, we're just going to wait this out for a second. Um, we got the dragon head as well. Nice addition. What have we got here? We got one second. That's cool. Let's get down here. No more shells by the looks of it. So two so far, which is one shulker box. So there we go. Look, two shells already, which is good. Um, I don't know how many shulker boxes we're going to use for this build, but probably a few, maybe three or more. Um, and the idea behind the design is to basically, oops, have a system where we can knock off one shulker box once it's full of gunpowder and take it wherever we wish. Obviously, we can use it for crafting. We can take it down to the base. We can do whatever we will uh, want to do with it. And then what we want to happen once we've knocked that shulker box off is for another shulker box to be put in its place so that we can get another one filled up and we can take it wherever we desire. So that's the idea behind the build that I want to create. Um, not entirely sure how to do it, but I'm sure we can figure it out somehow. And I am getting absolutely bombarded here, so hopefully we can actually make it up to the top without dying. And then I'll work on making my way back down, I guess. But if I can take any of these guys out, that'll be helpful. There we go. So we've taken one out. I think I'll just take a quick breather here. If we can. There we go. Okay, we should be uh, should be over the levitation soon. There we go. So I'm going to go get this chest while we're uh, having a bit of a break, as I said. Regenerate some health. Um, I'll take all of the gold, definitely. Uh, I guess I'll take these. Um, I'll replace it with anything better. Oh, some nice boots and a chest plate. Some more gold. Nice. Uh, the sword, I guess, I'll have as well. I'll leave the beetroot seeds. Not very rare. And we'll just head upwards for now. See if there's any guys out here that we can take on. Uh, there's a guy over there. Probably should have bought a bow. That was a big mistake on my part. Didn't bring a bow. Didn't really properly prepare for this. Um, it's all good, though. We're going to keep working our way through. So this is going to be a hassle to deal with as well, as you guys can see. There's a lot of them down there, and they aren't letting up. So uh, what should I do here? Oh, there is a shell down there. I need to get that. Ah, oh, damn. They got me. They got me with the levitation. All right. I'll tell you what, you guys. I'll just bring you back in periodically, I think, because this might take a while. And then I guess we'll just review how things are going as I bring you back in. 
Okay, so we found ourselves another loot room that's full of a few of these guys, so I think we should try and uh, take some out on camera. Uh, might be a good idea to try and escape what's going on here, actually, and just give ourselves a little bit of a break, because there was more than I imagined. Oh, dear. Okay, so here we go. Uh, if I can get myself down there, we should be good to go, so... Okay, got a shell off of him, good. Uh, there's another one somewhere around here. I need to keep moving though, don't want to get hit if I can help it. Okay, up we go. Take some cover here, jump across. Hit that out. Ah, oh, he got me. Okay, I'm just going to stand over him and just swipe at him. Hopefully take him down here. There we go, he goes down, perfect. And then we'll make our way across to this guy who also wants to fight. There we go, he's down and we got another shell. So that leaves us on six. So we can make a total of three shulker boxes so far. Obviously we uh, will pick up the loot here one second. I should be able to grab that as well. I think I've got silk touch on this ax. Or can you not use the ax? Okay, potentially no use for the axe there, so we won't bother with that. But we will take the loot inside the chest. A few diamonds, a uh, couple swords, definitely have those. Um, and of course, there are a lot of guys down here trying to take me out as well. So if we can get down there, might be useful. Uh, where are they? Okay, there's two two guys out here that we need to deal with, definitely. Okay, he's down. He's down and he dropped a shell. So uh, we'll grab that quickly. And then he's got a friend right here, which we can just swipe at. Hopefully get rid of... There we go. He didn't drop anything though, I don't think. Anyway, I didn't see anything drop. Uh, no, doesn't look like it. So uh, we'll go back up the tower here, try and make our way a bit further upstairs to see if there's anything else that we can check out. I don't believe there are any more shulkers in this room. At least not in this segment anyway. So we'll go across here. and We'll try and take the ladder here. Oh, we can't. We can't. We fell. Alright, back up again. Second try. Uh, which way are we going? This way, then we'll go around here. Have we got any blocks? We don't have any blocks, but we do have seven shulker shells, which is nice. On the verge of being able to create our eighth. Oh my word. On the verge of being able to create our eighth uh, shulker box. Unfortunately, we can't jump. Uh, there we go. We'll take that block and lay it right down there. Take a bite to eat just to make sure our health is staying. Wow, you can't even make this up. This is crazy. How am I failing so bad at this? All right, we might need to take another block just for safety here. So let's uh, get to the top, take this guy as well, and just pop it there. This time we can't fall, surely. All right, so we're up, and we can start making the stairs to the top. See if there's anything else up there. There might be a few more shulkers, hopefully, because, of course, we do want to be taking back as many shells as possible right now. Um, and it looks like we can still keep going. Haven't heard any shulkers in the area. Oh, I think I just heard one actually. He's right up there. So uh, we can maybe get his, maybe take the levitation and get up there. There we go. That helped us out more than anything, friend. Thank you. There we go. Uh, any shells? No, still on seven. I'll move those down to the hot bar so we can uh, easily tell when we get a new one. Uh, and we'll take a walk outside as well, just to double check. There are no more guys out here. We got the banners, don't need those. Uh, doesn't look like there are any more shulkers out here, so this tower seems to be done with. Okay, so uh, once again, um, I'll just cut back in when we find a bit more action. Okay, so somehow we have to tackle this main room here, and I haven't really decided how yet. I think we'll probably just use the levitation to our advantage when possible. So as you can see, this guy up here keeps shooting at us, so we'll, we'll take the hits and uh, ma maintain our health at the same time just so that we can uh, reach up to him and start swiping because otherwise I can't see any way of taking him out so uh oh he teleported where though where did he teleport um can't see him okay so he teleported somewhere but I don't see where he has teleported so here let's get up here if we can and just check out what's going on um I've lost him. He must have gone outside. That's the only thing I can imagine. Um, all right, this is a hardcore parkour moment. Because I believe that's what this is for anyway. Oh, no, I'm going to fail every single time. Okay, I'm probably going to head back outside now anyway. Get down here and see if I can access this from a different point. Because currently uh, we don't really have any way to get to them. So I'll head back down here. Get outside and use our elytra wings to get back up there. So um, we'll take this route up. See if we can just uh, identify where any of them might have gone. Okay, there's one. Don't want to risk that too much though. Don't want to hit the wall at all. Okay, we'll get back up. See if we can land in and around him. 
Uh, if we can get on this stair here, we might be able to do a bit of a job on him. Nope, we can't. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, back down we go then. Uh, so maybe it's time again to take a little bit of a look around off camera and not fall like that because my health is getting rather low and then if there's anything else I find I'll bring you guys back in but just to note we're on nine shulker shells now so one more would be good then we can probably get out of here. Okay we really do need to get out of here now we've got our 10th shulker shell but there are a few guys around here that we can kill so I figured we may as well just go for it and uh, see if we can get any better loot than what we currently have which um Ooh, we've got another we got another loot room as well, so it's better to uh, have a look before we leave, I guess, just so that we're not missing out on anything good. Uh, but I'm rapidly, well, not rapidly losing health, but I am losing a little bit here, so I do have to be careful. Uh, we'll try and avoid as many of these as we can. But there's two more guys, and we only need, we've got one more shell down there, so we need one more after that to be able to create the sixth shulker box from this journey, which will be nice. Okay, he teleported, unfortunately. However, this guy down here is looking like a target, so uh, we'll just give him a second. Hopefully, we can avoid any of his attacks. And then we can get down right on top of him and just hit him repeatedly until he dies. And we've got our 12th shell. Perfect. So now we can create ourselves six shulker boxes, which is very nice indeed. I think there is one more guy up here. Uh, we probably should have used that to levitate up to him. Yeah, let's just let him hit us. Get up here. And we can take him out nice and easily. And he gives us a shell. Perfect. Uh, there's one more guy down there, apparently, who's firing at us. Uh, we'll try and take that out before it gets to us. There we go. Okay. And we're down. We grab the shell back in here because this is obviously a loot room. We do want to check out what they're going to give us before we move on. So hopefully something nice. Uh, a bit more diamond tools or gear would be okay, to be honest. Um, obviously, we're not in dire need of anything like that. But we'll take anything they'll give us. At the end of the day, you can turn it down. Okay, so let's see what they've got for us. A couple more diamonds, uh, another chest plate, some leggings, which I'll just substitute for a terrible iron sword like that one there. And then we'll head upstairs up this uh, ladder right here. See if there's anything else to grab. And then after that, we will make our way back to our base, I think. Um, so are there going to be any more shulkers up here? That's what I want to know. Because if we get one more, we can make our seventh shulker box from this trip. And that would be very nice indeed. So I'm going to just climb up. Hope for the best. Uh, okay, I don't see any guys up here, unfortunately. Any hanging around the sides here, maybe? Nope, doesn't look like it. So we'll go back down. And try and figure something else out. Um, I don't see any more, unfortunately. There definitely are some hanging around, though. So what I might do is scour the area for a few more minutes. And then if I find any, of course, I'll take them out. If not, we'll head back to base with only the 13. But if I get the 14th, that would be great. If not, not really bothered anyway, because we're going to be able to make six shulker boxes out of this journey as it is. All right, then, you guys, this is going to be the end of the video. So we made it back safely, as you can tell. And we actually came back with 16 shulker shells. So I found another one of those uh, loot rooms and it was full of shulkers. I decided to take them all on. Ended up getting an extra two shulker shells from on, on top of what we were expecting to get, should I say. And I'm very happy with that. So eight shulker boxes in total. Definitely way more than we're going to need for the build, which is perfect. Got ourselves some more elytra wings, a bunch of good gear, uh, another dragon head. Got ourselves an item frame. <laughs> Not very interesting, but I haven't got any leather, so quite cool. Got some diamonds, iron, gold as well. So definitely a good run. And I will be going back in the future to get some more. So don't you guys worry about that. Um, apologies for a bit longer an episode today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you enjoyed the exploration aspect of this episode. It's a bit different than what we usually do. And of course, next episode, we'll probably get to work on the sorting mechanism and shulker box system that I'm going to be building for our mob farm. So thank you very much for watching today. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like down below. That's very much appreciated by myself and certainly helps the channel out. So that would be great if you could do that. Also, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, anything you want to say in general, pop that down in the comment section below and I'll be sure to drop drop. I'll be sure to get back to you. Um, I do respond to 100% of questions at the moment on the channel, so definitely let me know if you have anything to say or anything to ask. Finally, if you're new around here or you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, then be sure to hit it and join the community around here. You can stay tuned to this series and anything else I decide to post by doing so, so it's definitely worth doing if you're interested in that. And finally, have a good day, take care of yourselves, take care of your families, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye for now.